Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel. If you're new, this is Vlogmas Day something. I'm not real for sure. I'll put it right here on the screen somewhere. But welcome back. Thanks for coming back. I see that I have um, some new subscribers, so welcome. Today's going to be another simple little DIY. I have been looking for something to like... I was wanting some type of like wooden or like the little wooden blocks with the numbers like for the countdown of Christmas but I cannot find exactly what I'm looking for and I don't want to pay a fortune for it because I'm only using it one time a year. So I've decided to make something and I think I'm just going to use chalk and write in the days or let my kids write it in. So this little DIY will be, um, a, what, what do I want to call it? Uh, Christmas countdown sign. I have this tray. I'm going to repurpose it. It's from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using the, the one bag of cinnamon sticks that I could find. You will need one of those little plate holders or just something to hold the tray up. You could probably even prop it up if you wanted to. Um, I had a bunch of cans of this chalkboard black spray paint, you guys. I needed this for another project and I didn't realize I already had like four cans of this and sorry and then I went and bought this this is too glossy for my liking but now I'm just I'm overloaded with chalkboard paint and you will also need I want to put a little ribbon or something on mine I don't know if I'm gonna use this bow or redo it but that is all you will need and just keep watching and I'm gonna show you like little bits and pieces of clips of me just putting it together. I'm going to try and keep these videos short because I am trying to edit somewhat and upload in the same day for the 12 days of Christmas. So just keep watching guys. This is the kind of chalkboard spray paint that I like to use. It's very forgiving and it dries fast and like, I'm not very good at spray painting, so I like to coat a lot of it on at once, and usually it runs, but this doesn't. This is amazing. I did one coat on the front and one coat on the back, and that's all, all right, it for needed. My ne next step to my little countdown um, Christmas sign. These are the cinnamon sticks, the one bag that I could find, and I wanted to use them in a craft project and not just like boil them on my stove for the smell. I use essential oils for that. But I went ahead and took them and like pieced them together about the same size as the tray. And once I get the tray dried, I'll bring it um, over here and I will see if this will work. If not, I will just have to piece them in whatever way they will fit to look good as like a border around the tray to kind of have that and it makes it look a little woodsy and I really like that but yeah so I've got this all mapped out I got my hot glue gun plugged in I've got a couple extra ones if I need to use those I did I couldn't get these broke at the length that I needed them to so I did just use this little saw and that's how I got like those shorter pieces to kind of fill in and a lot of these smaller pieces will slip right into the big ends and you can like piece it together like that hey guys real quick I just wanted to show you um, a few little things that I got on sale they are fall items but you could always change this stuff out or spray paint it and turn it into like any kind of decor that you want but you guys I got this reef right here it was I believe 375 it's that that kind of wicker one and it's got like these little pumpkins and gourds or whatever you call it but how cute is that I think this was either 375 with 75% off or it was just no, it was $15 with 75% off so I paid three dollars and 75 cents for this this is pretty big and I really like that. If you hear my son, I'm sorry. And then they also had this garland, and it was 75 cents. These are not my collars whatsoever. But Hi. if you mix it in with... Can you be quiet for a second? But if you mix it in with other stuff, it would be all right. Or like I said, you can DIY this stuff. I got two of the same for 75 cents. 
Hold on, baby. Don't touch that. Don't, don't, don't. I have like and a then I also one. got this one, and it's got more of the yellow on it. And you guys, it was all 75 cents. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I brought it down here from, um... Hey, don't eat the trash. Be quiet, please. I brought it down here just a few minutes ago from where I bought it a few days ago. Okay, there you go. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, too. Say, we're making stuff. We're making stuff. I need a haircut. No. I never take medicine. I never take haircuts. You never take medicine and you never do haircuts. Do that picture. Yep. Say bye. Bye. Bum kisses. All right. So, this is how I'm going to do mine. And I am just going to... Start gluing it down. I don't, I'm not going to try and use a lot of glue. I'm going to go in afterwards and maybe secure it better because I'm kind of scared I'm going to mess it up and then it's going to peel my paint off. If you use just a little bit of glue, if you don't like the placement, you can always peel it up without it tearing up a lot of paint because when you glue it back down, it will cover it up. So just go easy on the glue until you get your placement figured out and then you'll be all right. And these are the little pieces that I had cut right here so I'm just gonna try and piece them in the best that I can and then I'll go through and just pick all the strings off later I'm not too worried about the strings right now hot glue is my best friend but the hot glue strings are my worst enemy all right and then that is what it will look like so far somehow I lost um, a small clip but I'm just figuring out the bow there are so many different ways to make a bow so just pick the easiest way and go from there and then you can always um, attempt to make the harder ones Bows really are easy to make no matter what bow that you decide to make. It's all about bending the wires right and fluffing it just cr the right way to make it look good. My kids had a bunch of white chalk so I just took a big long one and I broke it in half and it fits right down in that little divot in the cinnamon stick just perfectly. Excuse the mess that I have going on, but I've been crafting for days and I haven't picked any of it up. When I craft, I don't like to pick any of it up until I am completely done with it. I'm struggling a little bit with this bow. I shouldn't have showed you guys where the hot glue was at because it made it run all the way down my board. But luckily I caught it before it dried so it didn't peel the paint off the board. Here is the practice board that I did. I used the chalkboard paint that was in that big container and I had to paint it on. It is super glossy. I made this little setup right here just to show you guys what it looked like. But this is not where I will be keeping it and my kids wrote on it the days left and I really like it because it's not neat it's in their handwriting so it's very special but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment